as you can see, it is going to open up a, well, a kind of a Cypress test runner, right? And now we can start recording our steps, our actions. So for example, if I click in on that, you can see that we have a, another a second action over here, which is get. It has a, a selected a, the, the button using this selector, this ID selector. And now we can start interacting with this form. For example, if I enter, uh, I click on this uh, text box, I'm gonna enter the first name, I'm gonna enter John, okay? Then I'm gonna click on the last name, uh, text box. We're gonna be trying this feature named Cypress Studio. Right now, this feature, if, if I'm not wrong, is in experimental mode, it is in beta. So we're gonna take a look of how it is, is it going. Uh, if it has feature or if it not, it doesn't, please let me know in the comment section if you like what you see or if you don't. But I think that it has potential, all right? Basically, uh, Cypress Studio is gonna provide us with a kind of record and play uh, tool in order to uh, record the different actions that we're gonna be doing in a, in, a, in a website. And then it is gonna generate the code in order to automate something, okay? So um, in this case, what we have to do is add this uh, key and value to the uh, configuration file in the Cypress JSON, okay? So that's the first thing that we are gonna do. I'm gonna come here to the Cypress JSON and I'm gonna add another key and value over here. As soon as I have done this, I'm gonna start working with the terminal or actually the test runner, okay? Let, let me open that. And then I think that we can start working with our spec files. So I'm gonna come here to my integration folder and then I'm gonna open and actually create a new folder here named, um, for example, um, Cypress Studio uh, Test, okay? This folder is gonna contain a simple JS file, right? Which is gonna be, for example, a studio demo.spec.js and it is not gonna contain any code, okay? <laughs> Let me see what is happening. I'm executing uh, an something that I don't want, I think. No, it, it should be working. Um, yeah, Cypress open, should work now. Let me see the package, the JSON, Cypress open. It is working, cool, perfect. Now, uh, well, as soon as I have creating my spec file, well, I think that I have to click on the, the, the spec file itself. Let's go. And as you can see, basically it, we have another uh, well, we have uh, an option here, which is create test with Cypress Studio. So I'm gonna come here and click. It is saying that the studio is in beta, right? It's, it is saying that generate Cypress commands by interac interacting with your site as an end user would. Then save these commands directly to your test file. So I'm gonna click here and enter my valid URL. So I'm gonna use this um, this website as example, and I'm gonna use the web tables from the demo QA. So I'm gonna come here, enter my website, and I'm gonna click on go. As you can see, it is gonna open up a well, a kind of a um, Cypress uh, test runner, right? And now we can start recording our steps, our actions. So for example, if I click in on that, you can see that we have a, another a second action over here, which is get. It has a, a selected a, the, the button using this selector, this ID selector. And now we can start interacting with this form. For example, if I enter, uh, I click on this uh, text box, I'm gonna enter the first name, I'm gonna enter John. Okay, then I'm gonna click on the last name, uh, text box. It is gonna be um, test, for example. Then I'm gonna click on the email uh, text box. So I'm gonna use john at test.com. Then I'm gonna enter an age. Let's say that I have 55 years old. <laughs> then I'm gonna click on the salary. For example, I'm gonna say that I, I earn 100, Oh, I don't know, just the salary over here, right? Um, and the department that we're, I'm working in this case, I want to see that it is, for example, in sales, <laughs> okay? And then I'm gonna click on submit. 
As soon as I have done this, well, we have two different options. The first one is click on cancel, so nothing of this is going to be recorded. And also we can click on save commands in order to get this saved in the in, in, in code, right? So I just wanted to take a look of uh, these other options. For example, in the studio beta, it is saying that obviously it is in beta. Um, we have available commands here. We have a kind of guide. Right now we only have access to uh, play around with the check, with click, with select, with type and uncheck. Um, they're going to be adding more commands and abilities in the future and the feedback, uh, well, they are open to hear more feedback, feedback from uh, the users, right? So, yeah, and uh, well, we can click on close studio, uh, restart the execution and actually I can save the test from this button. So I'm going to click on that and it is saying that I can, uh, well, provide a test name over here. So I'm going to call this web tables. Demo. As soon as I have I, I, do, I, I do this, you're going to take a look at this. It is going to execute the same script to see if everything is working fine. Well, as you can see, uh, well, it has added the new column in the in the table automatically and everything is working fine, I guess. Right. But um, as soon as this I have I have saved, saved the the actions, right, the recording. You're gonna take a look of the Visual Studio code and now it has well created and automatically this code. It is saying that it has created an, an it, right? With the with the test name that I have provided. And also it has all the different uh, commands that I have recorded, well converted into code. So yeah, I think that it is a very interesting feature from my perspective. Um, well, well uh, other uh, automation tools have something similar, right? For example, Test Cafe has the Test Cafe Studio, which is well uh, far beyond uh, from the from this functionality. They have a lot of better functionalities for now, right? It is more complete, and uh, well, Cyber, uh, Selenium has its Selenium IDE, right? And um, well, it is an, an interesting option, and probably the Cypress team is going to work on this and uh, improve its functionality for a, a near, near future, right? So thank you very much for watching the video. Hope that you find this uh, functionality useful and let's uh, well, review this. And as soon as I have an update or of something else, I'll try to make a new video with that update for you. Thank you very much and see you in the next one.